Who would have thought? Welcome back, kid. So, you ready? Rogue should be here any minute. So, ready? You're just gonna talk to Rogue about Smasher, right? Then you'll hand me the wheel and hop back in the passenger seat. That is the plan. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. You might even enjoy it. Actually, regretting this already. You're gonna strum her guilt, squeeze her for favors. Remind her all about how she left me die in Saka Tower. First, she was sure I was dead already. Second, I'd never do that to her. Don't have to. What? You can use your charm? Rogue's never said no to me. Ever. Okay. I'm ready. About fucking time. Ooh, look a little different. Fuss with your hair or... Fuck, it's good to be back. Never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Blue glass. Tattoo guy. How do you know the name? We go back. Where will I find him? Got a salon in Watson, Pershing Street. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? Other one. He's gonna love it. <laughs> sure he will. Jeremiah Grayson. I heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah, could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins. Sloppy second for Grayson, after I banged her. Slinger.
left or right. Think I got something better. Hey, you rule me. What? You've heard about me? Let's get out of here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. Just got a little biz to take care of first. Yo! Get your fucking balls off Ruby! She ain't going anywhere with you. She's on that clock, got it? Fuck, I missed this. Be waiting outside. You waiting for me? Let's go back to my place. Take the long way. Look good on you. Got a light? Maybe I'll call. Uh, I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. Hello, Night City. Spit blood first thing every morning. Ugh. Talk about, about something, something else, else, please. Sure. sure. First time you walked up, since there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah, Johnny told you. Did we, uh... You know. No. Gonk was too drunk. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid. Too bad he's gone completely whacked. You came to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity? Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. Smasher. He tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait. Grayson. Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Know what Smasher's been up to all this time? Disappeared after the Sokka Tower assault in 2023. All thought he was gone for good. Then suddenly reappeared. Did a few Mondo jobs for Arasaka, then went right back to ground. Nobody's seen him in years. Except Grayson, apparently. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. I'll buzz you when I learn something. Okay. A 
Unbelievable that bastard's somewhere in your head. Tricked me. Just supposed to talk to Rogue. Did talk to her. And the stripper? Empathy brawl? Tattoo? All required, man. Had to give Rogue something real, didn't I? Ebunike? A lead on Grayson supposed to be a lead on Smasher? Lead to lead. That's real? Real enough for Rogue. Quit mumble whining and let's Delta. The hell is this place? Place where you can puke all over the carpet, no problem. Beggar, not chooser. So, feeling better? No. So, my tattoo. What? Got an infection? 
Maybe a moment's reflection. No, no. I've already come to terms. I was more curious if you ever inked anything more twisted. Oh, uh, well. Was this one guy who wanted Fuck Night Corp. All caps. Forehead. Front and center. Oof. Disgruntled ex-corpo. A suit at City Hall. Eh, so rest easy. I've been around a while. Seen worse. Rachel's been waiting for you. Where do I go? Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Thanks.
Hmm. Thought you looked more... I don't know. Professional? Nothing's missing. Whatever. Get in. Don't worry, Olga. We'll fix this. Trust me. We'll be on schedule. Help's on the way. Finally. We're late. Stevenson's been asking for you all day. He's in his dressing room. Go talk to him. You wanted to see me? I wanted you by my side when my soul departs this world. I have no friends. No family. Only strangers as my company. Still, uh, set on scroll in this brain dance? I am more determined than ever. Hey, listen to me. You got this. Come this far already. Got nothing to face but your fear. Okay. I'll try. I... I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. Fine. Sure. Our Father, who art in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy on will earth be done as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us bread. this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into and temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us but from deliver evil. us from evil. Amen. Amen. Joshua? This is it. My time has come. I want you to walk with me. I'd like you to wield the hammer. Nail me to the cross. Please. All right, Joshua. I'll do it. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Let's do this. You're gonna have to say some lines. A few. We'll put them up on the prompter for you. Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and save us. Do you not fear God? You stand condemned under the same sentence. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you come into your kingdom.
truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Amen. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, where I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. You shouldn't release the BD. The world shouldn't see it. That's not up to you, that's not up to me. I'll call you. Rather lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Yeah, it felt good as new after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? Well, how much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation.
visitation of the water element. We are in the forest. Before us is a waterfall. Spirit of water, I send you greetings. 80% of our flesh and blood is made of you. Oh, what a mystery you are, spirit of water. One moment you are liquid, the next you are ice, another you are snow, vapor, and fog. One minute you heal, the next you drown. Wash me of sickness, pain, the impurity of my body and soul, with the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me youth, wisdom, knowledge, health, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. We draw the spirit of water into ourselves. Together, we are one body. We are water. We are the ones who flow over the waterfall's edge. We thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. Last time. Sorry, really gotta go. Right, so then what? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni. And lots of extra cheese. Atta boy. So, I'll see you come evening? You wish. Of course I'll be there. Contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. 
You are drowning in the here and now. I think I'm starting to get the hang of all this. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. Do not cling too tightly to your thoughts, but allow them to flow freely. Does a toad clench its fist when it swims? What is the sound of one hand clapping? That depends. Is someone clapping with you? I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes. You may begin. I will guide you. of the fire element. We are in the forest. We see rays of sunlight pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, burn all impurity from my body and soul, and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace, so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, Spirit of the Sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and soul. Of course that would happen. Suspect 
has disappeared. All units on site, continue searching the area. That's Maelstrom Turf. Meaning you found Grayson? He really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. After lunch. We'll talk. Okay. Yep. Scrolled and sent. Editors are working their magic already. Have the marketing team stick a link. Huh. Good. Well, at least that's over with. How was the Hey, you there? Hey, you dig brain dancers? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, primest shit ever scrolled. What have you got? For you, bro? The best the Night City has to offer. And that would be? The most Nova spec, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Because the stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? What's on the virtue? Real feeling, neuron shredding, high octane, transensational, adrenaline pumping shit, yo. And your mind will blow us low, bruh. You gotta trust me on this. Not interested. Uh, you say that now, but I know you'll come crawling back eventually. Thanks.
It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. Uh, Mike, we're I've talking rescheduled about the all his meetings out of the platform. office today. I'm not doing a U-turn just because night court. meeting here. No, so I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck um, me in the bother ass! Bother us at doing what exactly? You'll know in a minute. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. SSI is pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Security looking at this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Molden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. 
politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work hey. with Night Corp, Biotechnica, you know, right? Arasaka. Drop so far, you say. Justice if Jeff can get elected without bring, owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real How could victory. I say no? Right, great. Jeff's office, Justice, control then. room, storage, Sounds and free. flea market crammed into one. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. <laughs> Tide bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know, it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Bullet holes. Caulked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. screen a lot, or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. What? Okay, never mind. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Scanner's showing something different. Wait, you mean here? Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. What's it for? Talking to yourself again? 
more and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. practically prehistoric but it doesn't look older than a day saw something like this back in the war transmitters militech was using them short-range uhf signal only travels line of sight but it can't be intercepted line of sight let's look around see if we can't spot where our receivers camping out Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter, and I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind.
How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. They don't mass produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Earjacking. Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis? Well, whoever it is, our intruder could be in there. I think it's time I went and said hello. About to find out. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players. String pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blood, rig elections. Shit. They're taking us into port side. This can't end well, Johnny.
Pierston, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now used to some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there.
Oh, you again. Thank you once again for your help. And yet, you did not help. Good intentions do not justify murder. Please, be my in peace. Fine, be my guest. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, a, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, 
Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this, ever. His life depends on it. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. V? Are you truly prepared to fire Are you still SSI? With me? After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. V? 
Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This is some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Somebody's hijacked your life, reset your course, your career. I'll admit, there were a couple of fortunate coincidences, but... They, they forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly what they want is for you to be their mayor. Molding you like a clay figurine. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. You kidding? How would you expect to do that? You want to take on a shadowy organization that controls your mind, anticipates your every move, programs, there's got to be a way. You don't stand a kitten's chance in the dog pound. Sorry. My god. I have to tell Liz. Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No. No, no, no. She would have said something. She feared for your life daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. No, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window, an opportunity, then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.
Congrats, I guess. You? You were great. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy!
¡Oye, despacio! Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked with clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. Feel like such a gonk now. Come here cause you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, change your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects. Spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and, uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. 
Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do nice some cardio! Nice Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, <laughs> you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But you- Bep, bep, Not a word. Uh, 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 v, everything okay? okay. V, you don't, you don't look, look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Oh.
someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Well, well, well. The Bushido Collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Corporate security will only defend their own employees. All others at the scene will be treated as potential obstacles to ensuring client safety. Once the police eliminate the cyber cycle threat, leave the area as soon as possible. But remember, if the attack occurred in a store or shopping mall, you're likely entitled to a discount or voucher. Don't forget to claim yours. That's all for this episode of Safe and Sound. Stay alive out there. she dabbled in robotics now that's fucking shimra think that's how she winds down after a day's work of tuning hardcore smut wouldn't be surprised huh. interesting place looks like a fucking antique museum then i guess you should feel right at home chick's got taste that all you have to say and she's nice Six out of ten. Thank you. 